All right, we've got that breaking news we've been waiting for. We're hearing from the State Department that the Keystone XL pipeline project is, in fact, environmentally sound. We're going to turn right over to our National Bureau Chief, David Aiken. He's live for us in Ottawa. David, bring us up to speed. Uh, yeah, I mean, literally, I've got the, the report right now in my hand. We're just going through it. It's a big, thick report. It's an environmental assessment report. But the bottom line is that the U.S. State Department in this the language is draft supplemental report has found that the new route for the Keystone Pipeline that's going to take crude oil from Alberta down to the Gulf of Mexico and refineries there is by and large environmentally sound. Uh, there's still, you know, a whole bunch of issues and lots of stuff to get to, but that's the bottom line. Now, does that mean that construction can now begin? No, it does not. What happens now in terms of the process is there is a 90-day comment period. Certainly, we've already received word that groups like the Sierra Club, environmental activist groups like the Sierra Club, the Council of Canadians, you name it, um, are ready to continue to put pressure on the White House to spike this project and they can do that. They've got 90 days to rant and rail against it, at which point Obama, uh, President, U.S. President Obama and the administration will have to make a decision. So we'll see that decision probably sometime in July or August. That is what the State Department is saying in the United States. But right now, I think you would take this particular environmental assessment report as probably a net positive for the likelihood that Keystone is going to be built. So some will rant, some will rave, but it's my understanding that now that this report's been issued, there's what, like a period, I guess, of what is it, 45, anywhere? Not 90 a, days. 90 days. Okay, so 90 days of public consultations? How, how exactly does this process well, there's work? There's no public hearings, but okay. anybody who wants to pick at the report, anybody downloads a report, it's available now. You can review the science. Uh, that this, uh, that the, the, the science of this assessment, and those who have quibbles with the science can mail or uh, write into the U.S. State Department with their objections, and then presumably, because it's called the draft supplemental guide, and then presumably a final assessment is presented, and it would be that document that would be primarily used by uh, the United States administration. Uh, there is some press conferences going on right now. Officials are briefing mm -hmm. reporters as we speak. Our own Bryn Weiss in Washington is in on that particular call. It's not the sort of thing that Obama spoke about earlier today when he spoke about, of course, he's got issues with, you know, just paying the bills for the U.S. government right now. Uh, Secretary of State John Kerry, uh, he's the guy who does have to sign off on this. He's in Turkey today, uh, so this is not something he's speaking about. Right. And he probably wouldn't because, again, this is something that they won't actually have to make a decision on until uh, probably the, the midsummer. How closely is the Prime Minister, you think, watching this uh, as it develops? Oh, very closely. We've been in contact with officials here in both Natural Resources Minister Joe Oliver's office as well as in the Prime Minister's office. And yes, they're very keen. Uh, they learned that this was coming out uh, today about the same time we did. That would be shortly after lunch. People started getting the idea that this report was coming down. Uh, they are now taking a look at it themselves. They're just getting their first blush at it to see what it says. We expect Minister Oliver uh, to have a statement on it uh, shortly. We may see him and I say may see him in front of a camera uh, later on this evening. But right now, the first thing is everybody wants to uh, take a look at it and see what's going down. What do you make of the timing? This is eerily reminiscent of a chat you and I had about the Nexen uh, takeover a couple of months ago, a Friday afternoon, and you yourself said it, U.S. Secretary of State not even in the United States. Yes, and, and we, we did talk about that. And, and, you know, sometimes governments have what's called take out the trash Fridays when they want to slip bad news uh, under the wire. For Can uh, There's a lot of people in Canada who think this is good news. A lot of people in the United States who think this would be good news. It's controversial news, certainly, because uh, the President and uh, the Secretary of State are probably going to take some heat from the environmental lobby on this. 3.45 in the afternoon isn't too late. It's kind of getting there. Uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, we'll see what's going on here. David, I know you're going to be with us again in a couple minutes. Do appreciate it. Thanks. And do stay with us. We're going to continue with this breaking news. The State Department approving the Keystone XL pipeline as environmentally sound.